balsa is better than foam. Well, at least it just got better than what it used to be. And maybe it is better than foam now, finally, because we can fly a balsa for the first time in the world ever, bind and fly airplane. Yeah, that's right. E-Flight has slapped their name on this. This is not a Hangar 9 airplane, and that's because, in my opinion, the ease of use. Now, this is a balsa plane, but it went together basically like a foam plane. Vertical, horizontal stabilizer, main wing goes on, and you put the landing gear on. All the electronics, the motor, uh, the ESC, all the servos, even the receiver is pre-installed and you just have to bind it up. So it really is just as easy as most foam planes. Now, what I'm excited about is this is very lightweight. If this were a foam plane in this same size, it would weigh more and it's super robust but it's capable of flying on not only a 3S battery, but a 4S battery too. And that's why I'm excited because of the lightweightness of this airplane. <laughs> and here you go, everybody always wants to see. An and empty it's box. <laughs> 4S capable. Hey, that empty box means a lot to those of us that fly. <laughs> it can take a 2200 milliamp battery and that's what we're gonna fly on today. That's actually what's recommended, my personal favorite battery, 4S 2200. But you can fly on a 3 or 4S 3200 milliamp battery as well if you want longer flights. This has safe, so it can be hopefully trainer friendly, beginner friendly, but I'm excited to really wake it up a little bit. One thing that I did, and I will tell you guys, it's uh, not even recommended in the instruction manual, it's just you can do it, is I adjusted where my push rods were. Rather than the outside hole, I pushed it in almost all the way in. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more aggressive when I'm out of safe. So this will be a maiden flight of this amazing airplane. It'll be linked in the description box below if you guys wanna pull it up at any time. I'm nervous, but mostly excited. So let's put it in the air and see how it does. Before takeoff, I should mention, while you guys are looking at those ailerons, you'll notice there's a split halfway down. See, to the left of Horizon and to the right of Smart, there is a vertical slit, right? There's two little dowel rods in there too, uh, holding the what would be flaps and ailerons together. If you so choose, there's a spot right here for an extra servo. So you can split those and have flaps if you want. She taxis good. <laughs> I think we're gonna take off in safe. We got a little bit of wind coming in uh, from the right. So the taxis really well. It doesn't, doesn't, it has a little rattle because of the balsa, but not as bad as what I was expecting. So clear for takeoff, let's go. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Safe feels good. Let's kind of get it down the runway and I'm probably, probably gonna fly this out of safe a lot if it'll let me. That's in safe, guys. A little bit of wind coming at us. That's why we got a little bit of a push that way. And we'll climb and turn safe off. Actually, we'll do one full throttle pass here really quick. Took me a second to work into it. I've got to adjust my alarm and stuff on my radio. Good old maiden flight, you guys, on a cold day. <laughs> this has a lot of climb even in this flight mode. And safe off. Tiny little bit of aileron roll. Well, a good bit, actually. Need to trim that up. That's not too bad. Let's go. Oh, I might have I might have put too much elevator authority in there on my, <laughs> on my push rod. That was really a lot. So <laughs> I could probably break this thing in half. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to have to adjust that. Oh, yeah, this is super cool. Oh, I do have Expo in here. I put, um, I think I was at 15. It recommended 10, but I just went with 15. I was breaking those recommendations. This is really nice. As I said, it's super rigid. Just something you don't really get with foam. Liking this a lot. I do have too much elevator in here, so I need to adjust where it's at on my clevis. Whatever. Control horn, I think. I can't remember which one I did, but... Yeah, this is super awesome. Wow. <laughs> Pretty good rudder authority. Just got to get a feel for it. Maiden flights are always fun. Sorry about the alarm. I'll tell you what, let's just land it. Take care of that stupid alarm. All right, remember we don't have flaps, so we just want to 
come in. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a three point wow. landing that was. I want to make an adjustment in my radio real fast and keep Maybe flying. adjust your elevator too while you're down here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just had way too much elevator going on. This should feel a little better. Little right rudder, but you don't need much. Yeah, this is just fun. I put a fresh battery in too. This is a 50C. And I have just, I think I need a firmware update on my radio because it just tells me sometimes, sometimes certain receivers, it just is like, hey, low voltage, but no, it's not because fresh battery, right? That's just super fun. <laughs> I'll bet we can do a four point roll pretty well or four point loop, I should say. Pretty ugly, but square loop. I mean, this is flying like just the most on rails thing I've flown right out of the box. It just needed a tiny bit of trim. Look at that. Under wow. the climb. I mean, I can just wow. break it, you know? Look at that. Isn't that wild? That is snappy. This, this was a popular airplane for a reason, and now it just got so much power, especially for its size. As I said, it's so lightweight. Watch, I and mean, we can just... That's ridiculous power. That's zero throttle, gliding down. Let's let it almost stall, and then just up and punch. Where have you ever seen anything that can do that? I don't have anything foam that can fly this aggressively. You guys know I love flying my Commander, right? I love my Commander, my 4S, the newest, it's like a couple years old now. I love that thing. Maybe it's a year old, but it's got nothing on this. I mean, this is so tight and just aggressive in comparison. It's wild. <laughs> I'm usually pretty talking about flights too. I'm just really enjoying this. So yeah, it's got safe and should be able to fly inverted. Yeah, look, that's nothing. I'm giving no <laughs> input. That flies inverted just as good as it flies upright. Look at that. There's no input. I'm, I'm that's hands free. That's hands free. That is insane. <laughs> I think I've found my inverted flyer, Adam. <laughs> Stop it, my alarm. <laughs> That is so cool. Yeah. Nice. Aha, both too. You should try a four point roll on this. It's been a while. It's not my fault if you crash. I'm not doing it, it's a maiden. <laughs> I'm not doing it, I don't even have my sunglasses on. I always have to add that. Every time I ask him to do something, I have to make sure he does. <laughs> this is his idea, not mine. I'm not responsible. I just feel so confident with this not losing any um, altitude when I roll it that I can do rolls so much lower on a maiden flight. Look at that. I just don't lose anything. I don't have to give up elevator, down elevator, just to try to like not lose altitude on this. This is one, uh, this is this is by far the best flying balsa plane I own. This is insanely good. And yeah, it's, it's at a premium price. So let's talk about the price for a second. Balsa is going to be more expensive than foam, especially when you've got someone else building it for you. Uh, this is bind and fly. So you are just plugging a couple things, putting a couple things together, and then taking it up to the airfield and flying it. That doesn't happen with Balsa. So you're going to pay more for that. But you guys can tell there is a very premium performance here with this. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes. Nice. I feel like I probably should land it. Yeah, See what my battery you're, you're like four minutes. actually at. Uh, but I'm, I'm cooking this thing and what a great maiden this has been. This is awesome. Other than my radio buzzing, uh, this has been an amazing maiden flight. Let's bring it in, see if we can land it just about as good as that last one. Gotta let that speed. Oh my gosh, this is, this is light as a feather and just the most powerful punchy thing. It's, oh, it's awesome. This is a whole new level for RC. It's basic, but the performance is ridiculous. I don't know why, it's not telemetry. It's telling me that my battery's smart battery alarm, battery not charged for flying, volts 
15.6 volts. I'm at 3.9 volts per cell, and it is just doing that the whole flight, and I'm, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it's doing it, but it's nothing against the airplane. That was insanely fun. Again, 3.9 volts per cell. I should just be up flying more, so I landed for no reason. Um, super simple to put together. Landing gear, main wing, horizontal stabilizer, and vertical stabilizer, and you just bind it up. You push the button. I think I showed you guys already, but underneath here we have our receiver already installed. Those servos are already installed. This thing is an absolute blast and an absolute beast. Here's how much room we have with the 2200. I put my wires up front and just so you guys know for CG purposes, I want you to see where I have my battery. Now, I did the wires up front because if you do it the other way around, it's just hard to get to the wire. Uh, but the wires are basically snug up against the front of the airplane and it was flying absolutely perfectly. I would not even mess with the 3200 in this as good as that was flying. And we can probably get seven, eight, 10 minute flight times on this. But we just had that stupid telemetry kind of scared me. And on a maiden, I'm going to try to be a little bit safer uh, rather than being sorry because I love the performance of this airplane. <laughs> And I don't want to get rid of this thing, especially on a first flight. I will say uh, on the nose cone, I had a little bit of trouble when I put one, one screw lined up really well and the other screw just didn't want to line up super good. So I had to kind of bind it to put it on, but I didn't hear any vibration. I didn't know any flight, notice any flight performance issues or anything. Uh, it's just amazing. I cannot begin to tell you. Yes, I've had ultra sticks in the past. I've had Hangar 9 ultra sticks bigger than this, that yellow one. Can't think of which version that was. I think you have to put your own receiver in that, so it's considered a plug and play. But this being a bind and fly, I've, I've never flown anything this size, 1.1 meter foam that performs this well. That is just plain and simple. And uh, uh, the, just the performance of this blows my mind. <laughs> And, and that's exciting, that excites me. That inverted flight was just as perfect as upright flight. I've never experienced it being that good before. So I'm really excited about this. This is a really good airplane. And it might not be for everyone because you're gonna compare it, the price, to something you could buy this size or bigger uh, foam for cheaper. And I, I think that you just have to, there's a lot of people that watch our videos that trust us and what I'm saying, it resonates. You know, I told people that Commander is my favorite airplane uh, for a 4S airplane, I think that was last year. And it doesn't look that exciting. And most people wouldn't believe me just by watching the video, but I've had a large handful of people that watch our videos buy that and follow up and say, you know what? You're right, that's a blast to fly. It's my go-to favorite plane. I warm up on that, then I get my gassers out. Take my word on it, this is better than the Commander. It's flight performance. Not everyone's gonna love that it's just a stick, but this is a performance airplane. Uh, what is the saying? Through and through. <laughs> now guys, one of the biggest things you can do to support our channel, and there's a lot of people that like, you know, love watching our videos and we're very, very grateful. And that goes a long way, but one of the most direct ways you can support us is if you like this airplane or anything on this website where we'll have it linked, you can click that link in our description box or in our pinned comment. It'll pull this airplane up, but you can go buy anything from there on the website and we'll get a little bit of credit for that. It doesn't cost you anything extra. You earn points while you're there. It's just a really win-win-win situation. It's really funny to say that, but it's really true. And uh, we're really grateful, we're very grateful for you guys using those links. Now, this was a wild maiden flight. This thing is just an absolute beast. And I don't know that it will be most people's first airplane, but there might be a couple people out there thinking, okay, Balsa is the only way I'm gonna go. And, and if that's you, then hey, this would be capable of being your first airplane, more so than planes used to be 10 years ago when safe and stuff didn't exist, or maybe a little longer. Uh, people didn't have safe and they were learning to fly planes like this and bigger with gas engines. So trust me, you can learn to fly on this with safe. Having said all that, don't fly anything without having AMA. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's an insurance program to ensure those of us that are flying or driving RCs. You never know when something on a maiden flight especially could go awry and crash into your car or a friend's car or a friend. Hopefully not, God forbid. But if that happens, it's gonna be a great day to have AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. We'll have them linked in the description box below too. Well worth every penny. Comes in at a fraction of the cost of an airplane. 
and you're insured for the whole year. So don't fly without AMA. <laughs> Finally guys, this was uh, an adrenaline pumping maiden and I'm so glad we got to get out here and share this experience with you. Overcast, we have just really bad weather coming, but we got a break in the weather long enough to bring this maiden flight to you. And for that, I thank God. I wanna say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because if you guys, we get out here more often than we probably should with our camera to bring content to the world, uh, just having fun. And we thank our Patreon supporters for that so much from the bottom of our hearts. If you're into balsa planes, I want you guys to see my maiden flight of the Hangar 9 Ultra Stick versus this maiden flight. And if that doesn't tell you the difference in confidence and the flying ability, I don't know what will. So that video is popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.